Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are y'all doing today? Alright, so in this video, I'll be talking about the Hot Spring event, which includes both the gacha and the event mission. So let's get started. Alright, so first up, we have the Hot Spring, or called Onsen in Japanese, uh, gacha. Alright, so over here, uh, they're doing something similar to uh, previously, where you see this fish cake, uh, the omake points. Okay, so we're going to get some omake points if you do your multi summon okay so every time you do your multi summon you have 10 percent chance of getting three omake points or your fish cake points uh 30 percent chance of getting five of them 30 percent chance of getting seven 17 percent chance of getting 10 10 percent chance of getting 15 two percent chance of getting 20 and one percent chance of getting 50 okay and again these are all based on uh, these percentage but based on my personal previous experience I always happen to get three all right or the lower uh, ones which we had two uh, before originally they removed it anyway so this time if you have those fish cake points you can trade for these items or uh, you know these characters okay so if you have five of them you can trade for one monkey king if you have two of them you can trade for one five stars uh, rock Lee training material and then if you have five then trade for one ninja stone etc and etc all right so you guys can just check this out uh this right here this ticket is um you know a 25 percent chance of getting you know one of these so you can either get sasuke naruto hinata or sakura within that ticket okay but if you have 45 points if you happen to luckily have 45 points that is uh then you can trade for any one of these uh that you like okay just go to your trading shop click on uh the omake points tab and then trade for these okay so one thing you want to know is this time these four characters will actually give you some uh bonuses if you're doing the mission so which we'll talk about in a in a second sorry i had to pause my video there because i was just about to sneeze uh but anyway so i'll talk about that when we get to that point okay so now let's actually go through the units first okay so right here we have some awesome art and um i really don't know why they actually play table tennis when you know they're at the hot springs but anyways uh <laughs> over here that's the stats i'm going to talk about the five stars and then talk about the six stars okay so first skill is a unique type skill trigger speed is fast chakra cost 75. what it does is it deals seven percent plus 1800 damage to a single target enemy and also there's a chance to cause the smoke status okay and uh and also there is another status which is um well they call it soup but let's call it the hot spring status whatever you like to call it okay so hot spring status uh which i'll talk about in a second but if you are under the hot spring status yourself then you will deal a bonus 1.4 times damage on top of your 7 percent plus 1800 damage okay and if your enemy happened to be under the smoke status already then you will deal an additional two times the damage okay so the max bonus damage you can deal is 2.8 times the damage all right so what the smoke status do uh, is attack and defense decreases by five percent all right so let's move on to the six stars and talk about that so six stars uh the numbers have changed everything else pretty much the same so It'll deal 7% plus 3,000 damage to a single target enemy. And sorry, the trigger speed is fastest now instead of just fast. And chakra cost is lowered to 65 instead of 75. All right, so now I'll talk about this again. Deals 7% plus 3,000 damage to a single target enemy. And also putting them under the smoke status. And then if you are under your hot spring status yourself, then you will deal an additional two times damage. And then if your enemy is already under the smoke status, you'll deal an additional 2.3 times the damage. So max damage bonus you'll deal is 4.6 times damage bonus. And this time for the six stars version, the smoke status is a bit stronger. So attack and defense will be decreased by 10% instead of 5%. All right, so now let's move on to skill number two. Skill number two is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is fast, chakra cost is 75. 
What it does is it boosts your whole team's attack, defense, and agility by 40%. And also, uh, for all the team members on your team that have the soup or the hot spring status, then you will buff their skill damage by 30%. All right. And uh, whoops, sorry, six stars. So for six stars version, trigger speed is fast, tracker cost is 70. What it does now is it'll boost your whole team's attack, defense, and agility by 60%. So that's a pretty good support skill. And uh, if your whole team or your one of your team member or any team member that have the hot spring status, their skill damage will be increased by 50%. All right, now let's talk about the uh, abilities. So five stars and six stars are the same for leader skill. So what it does is boost blue type attribute units, boosts their attack and agility by 30%. Ability number one, attack is increased by 30%. And whenever you take damage, your HP will be recovered by 5%. For the six stars, is your attack is increased by 50%. And whenever you take damage, HP is recovered by 7% instead of 5. Ability number 2 for 5 stars, when your HP is above 90%, skill damage is increased by 80%, and your agility is increased by 40%. For ability number 2 for 6 stars, when your HP is above 50%, skill damage is increased by 120%, and agility is increased by 70%. And he belongs to Konoha. All right, now let's talk about Sasuke. Um, over here, skill number one, trigger speed is, oh, sorry. Skill number one is a fire type skill. Trigger speed is fast, chakra causes 85. What it does is it deals 5% plus 1,000 damage to the enemy's whole team. And also there's a chance to cause the smoke status. If you are under the hot spring status yourself, your damage will be increased by 1.4 times. And if your enemy is under the smoke status already, then you will deal two times uh, bonus damage. So max bonus damage you will deal is the same as Naruto, which is 2.8 times. And over here, smoke, stat, uh, smoke status, what it does is attack and defense decreases by 5% for your enemy, okay? And over here for the six stars version, what it does is it deals 5% plus 2,000 damage to the enemy's whole team. All right, so notice it's 5% plus 2,000, not 3,000, because it's AOE damage, not just single target. And also there's a chance to cause smoke status. And notice over here, it's not like a for sure thing where Naruto doesn't have a chance for six stars anymore. He still had it for five stars, but uh, over here, Sasuke has it for both five stars and six stars. So there's a chance to cause smoke status. And then if you're under the hot spring status yourself, you deal two times the bonus damage. And if your enemy is under the smoke status, you'll deal an additional two times. So maximum damage you'll deal to the enemy's whole team is four times the bonus damage. Okay. So over here, smoke status will, uh, the effect will be um, um, better now. Attack and defense is increased. Sorry. Attack and defense is decreased by 10%. All right. So skill number two. Is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is fast. Chakra cost is 55. What it does is it decreases your whole enemy team's attack by 30%. Okay, so there's a chance to decrease the enemy's whole team's attack by 30%. And also there's a chance to cause paralysis. So paralyzes them uh, as well. There's a chance. And then uh, if your enemy is under uh, smoke status already, the smoke status, then there's also a chance that their skill trigger speed will be decreased by one stage as well. Okay, so there are multiple effects for skill number two. But again, it's all luck. All right, so six stars version, uh, skill number two, uh, same thing, unique type. Trigger speed is fastest, chakra cost is 55. What it does is it debuffs the enemy's whole team's attack and defense by 40%. And also, paralyzes them okay it, there's it doesn't say a chance but i think sometimes it'll still miss i don't know maybe it won't so it will put them under the paralysis status and also if your enemy is under the smoke status there's still a chance to lower their trigger speed by one stage 
All right, so over here for leader skills, uh, it buffs all red type attribute units, buffs their attack and agility by 30%. So same thing for six stars, okay? So ability number one, agility is increased by 20%. And whenever you take damage, chakra is recovered by 3%. So instead of HP, where Naruto recovers HP, he recovers chakra. I think I got it correctly, right? Hope, hopefully I didn't mess that up. All right, so ability number one for six star Sasuke, agility is increased by 40%. And whenever you take damage, chakra is recovered by 5%. All right, so ability, ability number two, when your HP is above 90%, skill damage and attack is increased by 70%. And for six stars version, when your HP is above 50%, Skill damage and attack is increased by 100%. And over here, he also belongs to Konoha for his hot spring version. All right, so over here, we have Sakura. Skill number one is unique type skill. Trigger speed is fast, chakra cost is 70. What it does is it deals 5% plus 1000 damage to the enemy's whole team. And also, if you are under the hot spring status yourself, you will deal a bonus of two times damage. And if your enemy is under the smoke status, you will deal four times the damage. Okay, uh, but it says, I think it only deals that to one enemy, I think. And uh, no, sorry. Ah, my goodness. My bad. 1.4 times the damage. I wish they would have uh, just put this one point, you know, just at the back or something because that looks like a period. So I'm like, what? What kind of grammar is this? But anyways, no. So what happens is if your enemies are under the smoke status, then you'll deal 1.4 times additional damage. So total max damage you will deal is 2.8 times on top of the 5% plus 1000. All right. Skill number two is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is normal. Chakra cost is 80. What it does is it recovers your whole team's HP by a medium amount and also removes paralysis for your whole team. So that's actually pretty awesome. And as well, it will put your whole team under the um, uh, hot spring status. And what hot spring status does is whenever you take damage or whenever you attack, then your HP will be recovered by 2%. All right, so let's talk about the six stars version. Let's go back to skill number one. So skill number one, unique type, trigger speed, fast, sorry, fastest, chakra cost, 60. What it does is it deals 5% plus 2,000 damage to the enemy's whole team. And also, if you are under the hot spring status, you'll deal an additional two times bonus damage. And if your enemies are under the smoke status, you will deal an additional two times bonus. So the max bonus damage you can deal is four times. Uh, skill number two, trigger speed is normal, chakra cost is 70. What it does is it will recover your whole team's HP by a large amount and also removes paralysis, all right? And also puts your whole team under the hot spring status. And this time it's kind of improved a bit. Uh, what happens is whenever you take attack, uh, whenever you attack, basically, HP is recovered by 3%, so 1% more. All right, let's talk about the leader skill. Five stars and six stars are exactly the same. So for leader skill, it will boost all unique type skill damage by 30%. And whenever you take unique type uh, skill damage, it will be lessened. Okay, so lessons all incoming unique type skill damage. For ability number one, max HP and agility is increased by 30%. And also you have incoming paralysis. So I don't, so I don't know, I think it has the duration, the effect, right? So for the six stars version, what it does is max HP and agility is increased by 50%. And also you'll be totally immune to paralysis. So you can't be paralyzed. Ability number two, for the first seven turns, attack and skill damage is increased by 70%. For the six stars version, for the first 10 turns, attack and skill damage is increased by 100%. And finally, she belongs to Kanoha as well. And over here, you know, my favorite, Hinata, as well as Kushina. Um, 
two favorites. <laughs> All right, so over here, first skill is Bakugan type. Trigger speed is fast, chakra cost is 70. What it does is it deals 7% plus 1,500 damage to a single target enemy. And also, uh, if you are under the hot spring status, you will deal two times the bonus damage. And also, if your enemies are, well, your enemy because a single target, if your enemy is under the smoke status, you will deal an additional 1.4 times the damage. So maximum damage you can deal is 2.8 times bonus damage. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about the six stars. So for the six stars version, whoops, lag there. Uh, it's not working. Okay. Six stars version. Trigger speed is fastest. Chakra cost is 60. It will deal 7% plus 2,000 damage to a single target enemy. And also, if you're under the hot spring status, you will deal two times the bonus damage. And then if your enemy is under the smoke status, you will deal an additional two times. So maximum damage you'll deal is four times. All right. So over here at, uh, at the second skill. Second skill is also... Well, not also, this is a unique type because the first type is Bakugan. So second skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is normal. Chakra cause is 90. What it does is it buffs your whole team's defense by 40% and also recovers your whole team's chakra by a small amount and also puts you under a status where your chakra cost is decreased by 15%. All right. And also puts you under the hot spring status. And uh, the hot spring status, again, is whenever you are attacked, your HP will be recovered by 2%. For the six stars version, what it does is it boosts your whole team's defense by 50% and recovers your whole team's chakra by a medium amount and also puts you under a status where it will lower your chakra cost by 25% and also puts you under a stronger hot spring status where whenever you received attack, you your HP will be recovered by 3%. All right, abilities. Uh, leader skills, five stars and six stars are exactly the same. So it buffs all Bakugan type skill damage by 30% and also uh, lessens all incoming Bakugan type uh, skill damage. Ability number one, attack and agility is increased by 30%. And also, uh, it halves uh, debuffs, okay? Incoming debuffs are halved. And over here, for six stars, Hinata, uh, attack and agility is increased by 50%. And also, she is totally immune to debuffs, okay? Instead of half, and now she's immune to it. All right, ability, <coughs> excuse me, ability number two. For the first seven turns, skill damage is increased by 90%. And also, chakra cost is decreased by 20%. And for the six stars version, for the first 10 turns, skill damage is increased by 120%. And also, chakra cost is decreased by 30%. And finally, she belongs to the Konoha village as well. Wow, we finally got through all of that. I felt it was extremely long because, you know, every single character had five stars and six stars to go through. So that was very long indeed uh but now it's gonna be much shorter uh which is good all right so now let's talk about this event okay i haven't done any yet so if you guys are having issues trouble uh just feel free to leave a comment down below i'm sure someone will reply to you guys uh because i'm sure there is always at least one guy who is able to complete like all the missions in the first few days or just the first 24 hours who knows crazy all right so over here, if you are able to pull any of the four ninjas that we just talked about, your po your points bonus that up. Uh, wait, points bonus will be multiplied. Okay, let, let me restart my sentence. I'm I'm uh, pretty messed up here. So <laughs> you have a points bonus, and the points multiplier, okay, will be twelve times all the way up to twenty times, depending on your nindo level. All right, it also gives you a damage bonus. Uh, damage bonus is four times all the way up to five times, all right, depending on your Nindo level. And also the Premium Mali Trading Shop, if you guys have either the Kushina or Jiraiya, you will also have points bonus and damage bonus as well. 
Points bonus is from four times all the way up to six times. Damage bonus is three times all the way up to four times. Again, depending on your Nindo level. And that's it for that, okay? So you might be wondering why do you need more points? Uh, the reason is because if you have the points, you will be able to trade for these awesome stuff, all right? One cool part about this onsen event, like hot spring event, is that even if you can't uh, get lucky enough to pull one of these hot spring units, you can actually grind enough points to trade for these, okay? But you can only trade for one. So if you're planning to max out their Nindo level, you will probably have to either spend gems to try your luck and pull another one of the same unit, to feed it to it uh, himself or herself, or just use the Nindo level increase item to do it, okay? And uh, if you guys wanna try your luck, you guys can also trade for, um, you know, 50,000 points to get a gacha ticket. But you're also risking getting all the other ones that you don't want, okay? Like all these ones over here. So it's not just those four units, but also, the, why, why does it keep loading Jiraiya? It's so annoying. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was trying to scroll. But anyways, you can also get these four stars as well, which is uncool. So if you guys have the time uh, and have the units to grind, maybe it's better to grind up until you have 200,000 points and then trade for one of the units that you like. You can also trade for one of these items, which I'll talk about right now, the ninja gear, okay? Um, whoops. Sorry. Now let's talk about the ninja gear. Uh, the first one, we have Naruto's uh, ping pong racket, okay? Uh, over here, what it does is it boosts all unique type skill damage by 30%. And if you equip this to any of the following units, unique type skill damage and attack is increased by 60%. And also, you will be immune to binding, so you can't be bind. So that's very cool. Over here, we have Sasuke's ping pong racket. Uh, it boosts all fire type skill damage by 30%. If you equip this to the following Sasuke's, fire type skill damage and attack is increased by 60%. And also, you will be immune to paralysis, so you can't be paralyzed. And then over here, we have Sakura's fan. And uh, I thought she had no fans. Anyways, uh, sorry about that. It just suddenly came up. Uh, <laughs> all right, Taijutsu and unique type skill damage is increased by 30%. If you equip this fan, her only fan, to uh, one of her the following units, then Taijutsu and unique type skill damage is increased by 80%. And also, skill recovery amount is increased by 50%. So this works for all those recovery skills. So HP recovery, chakra recovery. So skill recovery amount is increased by 50%. All right. And then we have the bucket or, yeah, the, the bathing bucket for Hinata. All right. Um, Bakugan type skill damage is increased by 30%. If you equip her bucket to uh, any of the following units, Bakugan type skill damage is increased by 80%, and also attack and defense is increased by 30%. And then that's it. This is the Nindo level increase item. For those of you who are newer to the game, you guys uh, have always been having questions about this Nindo level increase item. This is to increase the Nindo level of your character. Once you max it out at 11 out of 11, you can choose a Nindo level bonus, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, and over here, this is the all type skills growth, five stars. So it will increase the level of any of your character's skill. All right. And that's it for this video. This is actually a pretty long one. I still hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys find it uh, find it helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to comment down below. As always, I read every single one of them and reply wherever necessary, all right? If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and bye now.